Hey everybody, we are here back recording video number two. Last week I did life hacks. Some were really, really good ideas, some were awful, and some were flat out inappropriate. Tonight we are doing drunk drag makeup. We have a bunch of makeup and random things that I have uh, two coworkers of mine brought over. They're not friends of mine, they are coworkers. Oh, <laughs> may not. We're dying outside. We might. This video might not even actually happen. What we did was we grabbed um, a bunch of different makeup and I told them that I'm gonna use just whatever they have and whatever they brought over. I did drag in college. I looked really great and sometimes the other times I looked like a trash panda whore. So we're gonna start. Glitter beard first. Foundation and then we can put the glue on. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna do the glitter beard. First thing we're gonna do is put on foundation because I have been informed that um, I am not doing this in the right order. But first thing, if we're gonna do drunk makeup, the first thing that you have to do is get drunk. Slam that really quick. Okay, so I think that's a good start. I'm telling you, you're not going home tonight. I've never said that to a woman before. <laughs> I have troublemakers here. I've promised one of them they won't be on camera. She works with me and she'll kill me. And they don't have real names, so it's Moon Moon and Starshine. According to Moon Moon, I need to um, start with a foundation, otherwise I'm gonna look like an ugly whore, which I'm going to anyways. So this is the first picture that I am basing this off of. Um, this is just the foundation. Don't think too much into it if I don't look like that at the end. This is probably going to be a disaster. Okay, so we're gonna start with the foundation. I got this from the dollar store. Fun fact, it's gonna look like shit. Oh, well at least I'm super pale. Dig it in there. Okay, so I think I'm doing this right, or I'm not. I apologize to all my drag friends. I look like Casper finished all over my face. My mother is gonna be so proud. I have been informed by my correspondents that I look like a ghost, but I'm gonna be a damn sexy ghost. I'm gonna have to contour the crap out of this. I think I'm gonna have to go check this out in an actual mirror, otherwise this is gonna be real bad. Girl. I could have played Edward. I don't know if you see my back, you'd really quickly put me on Team Jacob. I'm trying to make money. Mama needs a new wig. My weave is not pretty enough. That I am slightly less Alaskan and I think I hit Canada. I'm so pretty. I'm gonna be the first person asked out to the ball this year. What button keeps popping? I need to lose some weight. Who needs to lose weight when there's bigger sizes on the rack? <laughs> So now that we have our foundation on, I'm gonna do some contouring now, according to this photo. I don't know how to contour, and I'm not gonna watch a video on how to contour. I am using the Odoo Human palette. I assume this is what you use to do contouring with. I have a contouring stick. I don't need your stick. I say that a lot. I'm really lonely on the internet. I've seen people do this with a contour. Oh, hey, I have a jawline. And then they do this. I've seen people go down this, it's your T-zone. And then they do, oh, I don't think you're supposed to contour your forehead. <laughs> I'm gonna try to fix that up a little bit. Gotta use a little bit more concealer to conceal that it just got out of the coal mines. <laughs> Have you seen where I live? Selection is very thin, and the people are not. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna move on to the glitter. I've seen a lot of different ways to do this. Some people use hairspray, some people use spirit gum. It was terrifying. The hair wasn't coming off, their skin was. It's a great chemical peel out there if anybody's looking for a life hack. Yeah, you can help me. They're suggesting that we put the glitter into the fan sitting next to me, keeping me cool so I don't look like a sweating whore. So this is Moon Moon helping me out. Now it's important here that your skin feels like it's going to peel off. Beauty is pain and pain is beauty. This is a science. Oh yeah, get the lip. We need a little bit of an alcohol break before the glitter goes on. Have you ever woken up one day and you thought, today I'm gonna be really gay? Oh, I'm so pretty. <laughs> it actually looks really good. Gotta do a little touch up. I look like a clown whore. <laughs> oh my lord, does it itch worse than the herp. I can make your groin clap. <laughs> She's back for week two and I don't know that you can see it. She's real covered in glitter. Healy. Fame. Okay, so we are halfway done and this is really looking good. I'm kind of excited about this. Okay, so we are going to move on to doing the second half of my face. I get beer and service. It's fantastic. Mm. I don't always want acne, but when I do, 
I drink and glue glitter to my face. Oh! Finally, my outsides feel like my insides. <laughs> I wish all of the people on YouTube could see how much glitter is currently not on just my face, but all over my apartment. Who is thundering outside? God is pissed off right now. I'm gonna be single forever. Oh, girl. Mm. My mom just texted me with an update saying I'm really pretty. I finally made it in my life. So now that the glitter beard is done and I have tamed down my uh, coal miner's cheeks, it's like a really good movie. It's like a, a gay version of Brokeback Mountain. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Brokeback Mountain is already pretty gay. We're not gonna try to make it more gay. Okay, so now I am moving on. Moving on to the eyebrows. Okay, so I've seen them do this. And I've seen them do this, but they like go upward. And it, I don't know, magic happens. We are now going to move on to finishing the eyebrows, um, which involves covering them up with makeup. I don't know how this is supposed to look, but I don't think that this is a... I have this lipstick concealer or something. Oh, look at this. I'm already pretty. So when doing really good eyebrows for drag, you just dig the color stick into your eye until it doesn't look like you have an eyebrow anymore. I look like I came straight out of the fifth element. Multi-pass. So I've been informed that we dab, and then we tap, and then we apply. I'm pretty much rock bottom with drag queens. Oh, it's in my eye! I learned in my last video, if you do this, you're pretty. I'm trying to play smash or pass with my friends here and none of them want to smash me. So next we are going to draw on my eyebrows. So apparently we're gonna take a shot now. I look <clears> amazing. <throat> I'm telling you, this lighting is fantastic. So this is Starshine. I have been instructed. We're gonna put glitter we're gonna, in them. We're gonna put glitter in these. To Tom, you know who you are. You're really special to us. Very special. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Girl. Oh my god. It burns. It burns. <laughs> Mom! You're so pretty. I know I'm so pretty. Oh, say hi. Hi. That's my mama. Okay, so now I'm going to put on my eyebrows. Oh, that does not look good. So we're gonna try with a darker pencil now. Oh, yes! So I would take me home. Okay, so I'm gonna try my eyes now. That looks so good. My brother said I look like a clown. Smash or pass. On a scale of one to 10, I am an I'm a real boy. Okay, so I am going to next put on some eyeshadow. Oh, yes. If this doesn't scream like I am ready to hit the runway, Heidi Klum better be ready to call me. You see, this is the smoke effect, or as my friends would call it, the house that was lit on fire and left for too long before the fire department showed up. I don't think this looks terrible. <laughs> Ooh, we found some pink. So the key to this, according to the internet, is blending. <gasps> I want some chicken in my mouth. Where's my smudge brush? So next we're gonna try smudging. All right, we're gonna smudge. Oh girl, that looks terrible. Can I get your honest opinion? Smash or pass? Am I pretty yet, mom? <laughs> the key here is to make it look like you got hit by a bus, but by a pretty bus going very <laughs> slow. You guys, <laughs> I tried so hard. You guys, should I do a unibrow? <laughs> You love it. So now that we have this beautiful color blended in, and it looks very natural. All right, so now we're gonna do blush. Fierce! I don't know why my mom never put me into pageants as a kid. To Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo. I think it's time to do the eyelashes now. So I've been told that you put the glue on your hand. We have my eyelashes here, and they are called Sassy. It's perfect. Okay. Pretty? 
your mom's ex-boyfriend. So today when I went to the dollar store, I told the lady at checkout I was hanging out with my niece. So, all right, so we are almost done with my fabulous drag look tonight. Okay, so now for the lipstick. I have chosen a Taylor Swift post John Mayer look. So I'm a, I'm a professional at this. So pretty. And then you gotta do a little lip thing here. Oh, mm, girl. I'm ready for the main stage. It's like Frida Kahlo gone chic. Okay, so now you need a little bit of a lip length. So what you do is you just gotta outline the lip like this. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. You better work, bitch. What this does, this tells all the males that are trying to come at you, I'm only looking for high class. All my makeup is ready, and I think it's time to do the wig. Ready. Yes. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. So, with this, um, you pretty much have the completed look. You gotta twirl it a little bit, tease the boys a little bit. So now we're gonna do a little bit of Gaga and you're gonna love it. It. All right, so if you loved this video, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit like down beneath, and uh, share this video because this is going to help someone in your life. Have a wonderful night. See you next week.